This is a keyboard. It's not your typical keyboard, as most people would immediately notice. It's a 30% split keyboard. I'll get my hand out of the way. So there's actually two halves to it, and the two halves connect together over Bluetooth. It's called a Chocofy. I've been down the custom ergonomic keyboard rabbit hole for some time now. Uh, I started in 2016 with a 108 key mechanical keyboard um, that I believe actually Unbox Therapy had recommended way back in the day. And I loved that thing. It was called the Phoenix Auteur, I believe. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. But it was a great keyboard. It was something that was a foray into the mechanical world and I, I loved it. The only thing is, is if you've been watching my channel for any time, you know that I had a back injury when I was 20 years old. So sitting in front of a computer, computer with my hands together like this to type on a typical keyboard was tremendously stressful on my, my shoulders and my back. It actually caused me to have tremendous neck tension and issues um, because I was sitting in front of a computer eight to 10 hours when I first was learning programming and getting started into that world. So I was looking for solutions. Four years later in 2020, I bought a Ergodox Easy. I'll send some B-roll of it into the video here, but I love that keyboard. It is the perfect solution to that hunched over close together posture that you get from uh, the traditional keyboard layouts. I love that thing. The only thing that I didn't like about it is that it's very difficult to travel with. It's not portable whatsoever. Very big keyboard. And it's also, I think, 78 or 80 keys. And as I went down the rabbit hole, I started using less and less and less keys to the point where I'm literally only using 36. I know this is 18 because this is half of the keyboard, but I've got my layout down to 36. I know some people are down to 34 or less than that. I think 36 is the sweet spot for me. I don't believe I'm going to continue any further uh, because I think the law of diminishing returns is hyper valid in the ergonomic keyboard space. So what difference is this than the ErgoDocs? The thing is, is that this is a tremendously low profile keyboard. So I wanted something I could easily take with me to the coffee shop, to travel with, around the world, whatever. And this fits the bill. I added some tenting legs to it so that not only is can you use it flat, you actually can use it at a slightly inclined angle. So what that does is take the wrist position like this and makes it a little bit more neutral because your wrist doesn't necessarily or naturally fall into this sort of position that most keyboards require you to, uh, to use them in. That in and of itself takes a lot of stress off of the shoulders because you're sitting more naturally. When I'm sitting at my desk, I have my hands shoulder width apart now. I'm able to open up my chest and sit back so that typing is really a joy. It's not something that feels like it's a strained activity. It's not something that causes me pain anymore. And couple that with pull-up bar hangs and deadlifts and you're back as a person who uses a computer for programming, or writing or whatever is now something that is not, something that is paining you for your existence. And that's really been a game changer for me. In addition to that, when I switched over to the Chocofy, I swapped out my keyboard layout from QWERTY to Colmac DH. Uh, so that was an experience in and of itself. However, I'm very glad that I did it. I'm actually up to nearly my typing speed over the course of a month from QWERTY to, to the Colmac DH. And it's a much more comfortable, it just feels so much better to type on. Your hands move tremendously less than they did when you use QWERTY. So that's something that I highly recommend to everybody is if you're using QWERTY, 
look into the alternative keyboard layouts because they are truly, they're very good. I'll put up my, my uh, key mapping on the screen <clears throat> and I'll show you that there's something I'm using called home row mods. So inevitably when you see something like this, you ask, where's your shift key? Where's your control and your alt and all of these different keys that have dedicated keys on any typical keyboard. And what happens is that your home row actually becomes the modifier keys. So for me, I use my index finger as shift. I use my middle finger as control, my third finger as alt, and my fourth finger a little bit infrequently, but I use it for meta. And this is very interesting because what happens now is instead of moving your fingers around the keyboard to find these modifier keys, they're right under where you naturally lay your fingers. So it's much more easy to hit them and it's a much more enjoyable experience when you're typing. In addition to that, these three thumb keys are in addition to something that you would not see on a regular keyboard. And what I use these for is for changing layers. In my keyboard layout, I have three layers, just three. I didn't want to do like nine or 25 or whatever some of these people are doing with the custom keyboard scene because I wanted to keep it very simplified. And in those three layers, I'm able to hit nearly everything that I, I need. I'll put the layout on the screen, but you can see that I'm using um, various keys for print screen, for, um, for special inputs even. I actually have my email on one of the keys that I can just hit that key and my email is typed out by the keyboard as a macro. It's very, very cool. And it speeds up whatever form input you have to make or creating accounts or anything along those lines. On my second layer, I have a dedicated numpad on the right hand. So I don't have to have the number keys splayed out over the top row. I can switch over to layer two and then just use the numpad as I would on a uh, 108 key keyboard. And that's very nice too, because you just have those natural inclinations to hitting, you know, one through three, seven through nine, etc. On the second layer on my left hand, I have all of the programming keys that I need. I have all of my brackets, my parentheses, um, and those are laid out in a way that I had on the ergo docs and made my life very easy when it came to programming. On my third layer, one thing that I lost from switching over from QWERTY to Colmac is that the HJKL keys for Vim get displaced. And I didn't really like that because you have to go up and down to, to hit them and I didn't really like that. So what I did on the third layer is actually toggle arrow keys so that they just fall where the HJKL keys naturally fell. And it, it's just as seamless as using HJKL for navigation, moving up and down pages. And I also have <clears throat> dedicated browser keys so I can go back and forth between web pages and page down, page up. There's screenshot, there's, there's all the function keys and everything in that layer. And it makes hitting all of these keys so easy. It's truly something that I recommend looking into with the software that is on these custom keyboards. This one is run with ZMK. There's also QMK and there's other uh, various softwares that create these layering systems. I know that if you're on a laptop, you can use something called Kmonad. I have not used that just yet, but you can actually customize a laptop keyboard to have layers. It's, it's something that I have not explored just yet, probably will because, uh, well, that's just who I am. I know that uh, ZMK has a little bit of, it's a notoriously hard to use, um, layout system in your config files for key maps. So there's actually a awesome open source project that I'll link in the description that allows you to go in and visually adjust the different uh, keys on your keyboard for any sort of ZMK board. And in this visual layout, you're able to get the benefits of uh, ZSA's Oryx system, which I really loved with the ErgoDocs in that you could click on a key and you could change it to whatever you wanted and then you could add the layer to it, you could add modifiers to it, you could add tap. The sky was the limit for the various uh, functionalities you could use each key for. 
So I'll link the project underneath the video here. Go use it if you're using ZMK, it's, it's phenomenal. I believe it's uh, Nick Santoso, or uh, don't quote me on that, but it is a great project. I've had the keyboard for about a month now and I have no qualms with it whatsoever. And I've been using it daily for both my laptop and my desktop and it's, it's great. It's no complaints whatsoever. So if you're in the market for one of these, go over to beekeep.com and talk to Leo because he has been tremendously helpful. He's very responsive in his emails and he can, uh, he can hook you up with something like this or one of the other various pre-soldered or kits that he sells on his site. This is not a sponsored post. I bought this with my own money, but I do really love it. And uh, thank you, Leo, for helping me out with that. If you like this video and want to support the channel, my new book is available for print on amazon.ca.com, all of the different Amazons. I know that people like hard materials to flip through and, and read when they're reading a book. So I got it printed. It will always be available for free on my website, mountainthebook.com in PDF format, but I know that people like to sit down and flip through something when they're reading a book, if they read a book these days. So go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.